नमस्कार जियो स्टांस के एक नए एपिसोड में आपका स्वागत है आज हमें ज्वाइन किया है बैंगलोर से साई किरण कनन ने ये वैसे तो तमिलनाडु से हैं एक इंडिपेंडेंट जर्नलिस्ट हैं रिसर्चर है और बहुत अच्छे से द्रविडियन पॉलिटिक्स को समझते हैं मुझे लगा आजकल बहुत ज़्यादा डिबेट चल रही है जो एम के स्टालिन के बेटे उदया निधि स्टालिन ने स्टेटमेंट दी है सनातन धर्मा पे हाल ही में तो आई थॉट कि मेन स्ट्रीम मीडिया पर और ट्विटर पर बहुत सारी बातें उस पर चल रही हैं कुछ लोग कह रहे हैं वो इसलिए ऐसा कर रहे हैं क्योंकि वो क्रिश्चियन है तो जैसा कि आप लोग जानते हैं जियो स्टैंड पर हमारी कोशिश होती है कि हम आपको वो दिखाएं जो असलियत है विदाउट एनी सेंसेशनलिज्म सो हियर वी हैव समबडी हु कैन एक्चुअली टेल अस व्हाट इज हैपनिंग एंड व्हाट इज नॉट साई सबसे पहले तो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग टुडे एंड माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू इज कि क्या ये सच है कि उदय निधि इज अ क्रिश्चियन एंड दैट इज व्हाई ही इज अटैकिंग द हिंदू रिलीजन नहीं ये सच नहीं है सो फर्स्टली थैंक्स फॉर हैविंग मी हियर सोनम सो वो सिर्फ एक christian uh, christian christian program tha i think it was something to do with an institution institution or something so jaise jaise hota hai hamare politics mein thoda sa minority appeasement hota hai na so it it happens across all states so udyanidhi uh, mk stalin or mk stalin's father and karnanidhi they, they they belong to a hindu family so at least on paper they are all hindus बट उदिन ने उस 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 रात उस प्रोग्राम पे उसने बोला कि जस्ट जस्ट टू काइंड ऑफ डू एन अपीसमेंट उसने बोला कि यू नो मेरा वाइफ भी एक क्रिश्चियन है एंड इट वाज अ लव मैरिज और सो सो टेक्निकली मैं भी एक क्रिश्चियन यू नो मैं कह सकता हूँ और यू नो मेरा एजुकेशन भी क्रिश्चियन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में हो चुका था सो सो आई थिंक दैट वॉज दैट वॉज ऑल इट वॉज सो आई डोंट थिंक वी हैव एनी प्रूफ दैट इज अ क्रिस्टियन सो I don't think there's any documents that that show us he's a Christian, but this is what happened. Uh, so, so मेरे तरफ से it was just a case of uh, minority appeasement. उसके बाद कुछ नहीं. Generally, साई हम देखते हैं कि जो Dravidian politics का essence है, उसमें atheism को बहुत ज़्यादा promote किया जाता है, और religion को थोड़ा सा back foot भी देखते हैं हम. पर ये क्या कारण है कि जो द्रविडियन जो नेता लोग हैं वो हिंदू रिलीजन की इतनी ज़्यादा बैशिंग करते हैं अगर आप सच में एथियस्ट हैं या आप यकीन रखते हैं दैट पॉलिटिक्स एंड रिलीजन शुड नॉट बी मिक्स्ड देन दे शुड बैश ऑल रिलीजन इक्वली और अगर उदय नदी क्रिश्चियन नहीं भी है तो भी वो खुल के आके कह रहे हैं कि मैं तो क्रिश्चन ही हो गया क्योंकि जो मेरी धर्म पत्नी है वो भी क्रिश्चन है तो वाई दैट हिपोक्रेसी और वो भी एक हिंदू मेजोरिटी कंट्री में जहाँ पर माइनॉरिटीज uh, के uh, कुछ मेम्बर्स का ये कहना है कि हिंदूज बहुत डोमिनेंट हैं और हम तो यहाँ पर हिंदूज पर थोड़ा सा भी क्रिटिसिज्म नहीं कर सकते हियर इज अ लीडर इज अ मैस लीडर ऐसा नहीं है कि उनको कोई जानता नहीं है और वो हिंदू रिलीजन को बीमारी कह रहे हैं उसको कंपेयर कर रहे हैं मलेरिया और डेंगू के साथ और uh, अभी तक तो वो बिल्कुल सुरक्षित है उनको तो अभी तक ऐसा भी नहीं है कि पुलिस ने भी पकड़ा या सो इस 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 पर चर्चा करने के पहले वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द्रविडियन पॉलिटिक्स वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है इस सब्जेक्ट में सो द्रविडियन पॉलिटिक्स बेसिकली बिकेम अ मूवमेंट सो सो वी इनिशियली हैड कांग्रेस यू नो रूलिंग यू नो बी वेरी स्ट्रांग इन तमिलनाडु वी हैड पीपल लाइक Kamrajar, you know, who was, who is, who is still seen as one of the best uh, chief ministers that Tamil Nadu has ever had because of his policy and his simplicity, etc. And you are talking about the old Congress, and there was, there was even talk that you know he could have become uh, prime minister at one point of time, but you know he was not a very well educated man, so he actually gave up that. Uh, so I see, I see, I see politics chal raha tha uh, in Tamil Nadu, uh, but um, there were you know kafi problems the in terms of. Uh, uh social disparity uh discrimination uh so i mean it it, it is very natural uh, when we talk about you know india after independence uh, especially uh sari states mein i think there was a trend that you know brahmins were you know definitely in, in you know powerful positions when it comes to politics uh, as well as you know government jobs uh, school teachers etc so इस इस तरह के कॉन्टेक्स्ट uh, में हम देखेंगे तो इन तमिलनाडु नेचुरली 
you know, it, it has a sizable chunk of OBCs and MBCs. And then we also have uh, the scheduled cast, scheduled tribe people, the Dalits, etc. So uh, unlike uh, North India, uh, not, not the entire North India, but you talk about uh, Uttarakhand, Madhya Pradesh, um, you know, all those states, um, you at least have, as, as of now, uh, when you talk about figures, uh, at least uh, thus say 15% of you know, you will have, you know, in terms of Brahmins ka population. Aaj hum Tamil Nadu mein dekhenge toh sirf maximum 3% hoga Brahmins. Uh, so, so if you're going, if you're, if you're probably going back, so us samay pe probably around 78% uh, maximum, or maximum 10% ka Brahmins. But wo saare job sector mein, uh, public sector or, you know, uh, government offices mein, they were in, you know, very high positions and there could have been you know, like like any other state, you know, there could have been some discriminations when it comes to Brahmins and, you know, the other caste or, you know, non-Brahmins or whatever. So, uh, you had, then you had something called the Justice Party, which may be, uh, so they, they call, you know, th there is a very popular or unpopular saying Justice Party was made, you know, made up of, you know, people who were against Congress, but they were also like very, you know, feudal landlords. So, Usme Raja Ji, was also involved in some some uh, uh, form, and you know there were other feudal lords, etc. So if you look at uh, the uh, uh, Tamil Nadu minister PTR, who is who is currently the minister, so his uh, forefathers were one of the founders of the Justice Party himself, and he himself comes from a very established family. They were all landlords, etc. So while pe you know you had this. Uh, problems coming up, social uh, discrimination problems coming up, and then you had the Dravidian movement coming up. So you had people like, you know, uh, Periyar, who is, you know, very famously known for his anti-caste, uh, you know, thoughts, you know, so he said many good things, but he's also said many bad things. Um, but, you know, so I, I say who are the Dravidian ideology and Dravidian party coming to the fore. So Dravidian parties, I'm taking it to DMK ne aaya tha. Uske baad hi, you know, when MGR, DMK se split hooker, you know, he created ADMK. So then it was later, you know, taken forward by Jalalata and now you have, you know, EPS. So pehle DMK hum dekhenge to, so DMK ka pole plank was, you know, do, do guna tha. So pehle it was about Hindi imposition. So Tamil Nadu, six, 1960s mein you had anti-Hindu, uh, anti-Hindi uh, protests, you know, so they were uh, talking about Hindi imposition back then in 1960s. So, Sari government schemes, uh, Sari documents, is sub Hindi metha, you know, Supreme Court may serve English or in Hindi ka option, tha. Uh, High Court may be I say. Tha. So, so they were against Hindi ka imposition. And secondly, they were also talking about uh, caste based, you know, discrimination, how to fight caste based discrimination. So, Periyar was, you know, kind of, uh, uh, you know, he was created as a champion of masses when it comes to this. There were many people who were fighting against caste discrimination, not just in Tamil Nadu, but you had people in Kerala and other places mm -hmm. as well. Uh, but it suited their agenda and narrative that, you know, they have a mass leader, you know, who, who was mm -hmm. who was talking a lot of things. And DMK ka fundamental philosophy is that caste discrimination only happens in Hinduism. So this, this will answer your question that why they don't focus much on other religions like Christianity or Islam is because caste discrimination majorly happens only in Hinduism is their point of view. Mm -hmm. And and it, given that, you know, the majority of India was, you know, Hindu uh, mm -hmm. and it's still Hindu at, you know, and at some level. So you're talking about caste based atrocities happening mostly mm -hmm. or at least being reported specific to mostly, you know, the Hindu religion. So that is why Hindu leaders will always take a pot shot at you know, mm -hmm. I mean, EMK leaders will always take a pot shot at Hinduism. Uh, ye ye hai. So this is the reason they target. And that is how the Dravidian movement also grew. Mm -hmm. Some people uh, ask me, ke, Tamil Nadu mein kaafi temples hai, you know, still, you know, how, how they're voting for parties mm -hmm. like this, you know, ye kaise ho sakta hai and all of that, right? So yes, so Tamil Nadu mein, um, Tamil Nadu mein naturally, uh, mm -hmm. people are, are a bit more, open minded in the sense that wo sirf religion or caste ko nahi dekhenge uh, what mean i will i will not say caste but religion ko definitely wo, you know they won't consider uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, caste 
बेस तो बहुत वोटिंग होती है बिहार से भी ज्यादा होती है because see yeah we will cover this because log kahenge ki tamil mein ye batao ki since you said ki dmk walon ka manna hai ki ye jo casteism hai ye sirf hinduism mein hi prevalent hai do you think that is true kyunki islam mein to itne sare sects hai aur usme to itna violent uh, sectarianism aapko milta hai jaise aap uh, pakistan jaisi countries mein dekhe matlab 60000 se zyada shias ko abhi tak wo maar chuke hain this is post 1960s and i'm sure this is conservative data and then indian christians aapko pata hai christians mein brahmins tak hai ha, so ha. how is that these people can't see it and what and what are your views on that have you had a chance to interact with any christians um, i mean hindus who convert converted to christianity because of caste system wo wo hi main keh raha tha na so islam aur christianity mein um, i see crimes or i see discrimination zyada you know report nahi karenge na media isliye you know you don't get to see a lot of these things happening and you know being reported in the mainstream media uh, but uh, islam mein sunni aur shias ka wo kind of problems doesn't happen much in india at least at least in the state of tamil nadu because you know you 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 don't see those kind of issues so 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 but islam mein bhi i have heard a few incidents uh you know mm-hmm. where um, wo hindu dalits hain aur you know they may have you know converted into islam or islam may be uh, sometimes you know they are seen as dalits you know who have converted to islam so you know mm-hmm. proper you know islamic uh, jamaats or families they may you know involved in some discrimination but is, is, is like iske bare mein hum news mein itna zyada nahi padhenge na it's not reported but christianity mein definitely ye casteism hai aur tamil nadu mein bhi hai मैं 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 कुछ दलित क्रिश्चियंस के साथ बात कर चुका हूं और वो भी बोलते हैं कि हमारी रिलीजन या मीन दे बेसिकली कन्वर्टेड फ्रॉम हिंदुजम टू क्रिश्चियनिटी टू एस्केप यू नो दिस दिस यू नो कास्ट बेस्ड यू नो डिस्क्रिमिनेशन बट क्रिश्चियनिटी में भी यू नो यू यू टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंट कास्ट इन तमिलनाडु यू टॉक अबाउट द मुदलियार्स यू टॉक अबाउट यू नो ब्राह्मण्स लाइक यू सेड एंड यू टॉक अबाउट दलित्स क्रिश्चियनिटी में कन्वर्शन के बारे में यू नो बात भी यू नो दे हैव दिस ग्रुप्स क्रिश्चियन मुदलियार ग्रुप्स यू नो क्रिश्चियन ओबीसीज और दे आर एससी एसटीज नो 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 सो दे 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 बिलोंग टू द मिडिल मिडिल सेक्शन दे आर नॉट एससी एसटीज बट 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 दिस इज दिस इज हाउ इट हैपेंस डेफिनेटली दलित क्रिश्चियंस यू नो दे दे फेस अ लॉट ऑफ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन व्हेन इट कम्स टू क्रिश्चियनिटी बट इस्लाम में वी डोंट सी मच but who you had a uh, sai as somebody who's been observing the muslim world for some time now even in kashmir it's a major problem you know the uh, you shia talking about, people, you're talking about shrinagar and kargil we know how much difference there is ha, right so, so yeah you but, see jahan jahan par muslimano ki aksariyat yani ki majority hoti hai na wahan par ye conflict aapko bahut zyada milta hai wo kafir to bachte hi nahi hai to fir jo piche bachte hai wo aapas mein ladte hain i think jahan par uh, uh, देखते हैं ना कि मुस्लिम्स की मुस्लिम्स माइनॉरिटी में है या फिर यू नो दूसरे जो माइनॉरिटी रिलीजन है उनकी इतनी ज्यादा संख्या नहीं है वहां पर जो टारगेट होता है वो हिंदू होता है और वहां पर आपको इतना कॉन्फ्लिक्ट शिया सुन्नी का नहीं मिलेगा और अगर जैसे आपने कहा कि क्रिश्चियनिटी में भी जो डिवाइड है कास्ट के बेसिस पे वो उतना नहीं रिपोर्ट होता बिकॉज द टारगेट देर इज हिंदू की हिंदू रिलीजन के अंदर कोई भी आपको फॉल्ट लाइन नजर आए उसको एक्सप्लॉयट करें अच्छा साहिब माई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू इज के वेयर डज राहुल गांधी स्टैंड इन दिस क्योंकि मल्लिका अर्जुन खाड़गे जो हैं उनकी भी एक हिस्ट्री रही है इस तरह की बातें करने की वो तो एक बार राजनाथ सिंह जी को पार्लियामेंट में कह रहे थे कि आप बाहर वाले हैं हम असली इंडियंस हैं आप तो पता नहीं आर्यन की औलादे हैं तो फिर वो लॉजिक तो फिर राहुल गांधी जी पर भी लग जाएगा ना क्योंकि वो भी उसी कैटेगरी में आ जाएंगे और अब उनके जो बेटे हैं प्रियांक उन्होंने भी यही कह दिया कि जो रिलीजन इन को प्रमोट करता है वो डिजीज से कम नहीं है बट अभी तक राहुल गांधी जी का एज एज ऑफ ना हो जब तक हम ये वीडियो रिकॉर्ड कर रहे हैं कोई इस पे उनकी प्रतिक्रिया नहीं आई है वाई डू थिंक ही साइलेंट सो या सो इस क्वेश्चन को आंसर करने के पहले आई वॉन्ट टू जस्ट टेक यू स्टेप बैक राइट सो हम ये भी देखना है कि तमिलनाडु एज अ डेमोग्राफी यू नो 
how is it different from uh, the north and why you know you see so much hypocrisy right so so dmk ek party hai they they call themselves the champions of social justice right and and so ideally when you talk about you know championing the social cause who is the most downtrodden of the lot if you even take for example that the varna system exists today right even on paper hum dekh sakte hain ki brahmins then you know uh, kshatriyas vaishyas and then you know you have the sutras right or the dalits right so who are the most uh, affected people hum keh sakte hain ki scsts so dalits adivasis you know tribal people they are the most uh, you know uh, when you know affected people when you talk about the caste hierarchy so main pehle hi keh chuka hu ki tamil nadu mein majority of the population belong to the middle caste you talking about obcs bcs obcs and mbcs and uh, may i mean i don't want to mention the caste names but everyone knows whoever knows tamil nadu they can is or you know simple google you know you can find out who these castes are and these castes uh, wo bahut powerful hain in their own you know uh, regions in tamil nadu hum coimbatore ko dekh sakte hain to there is a caste which is very powerful there hum south the southern tamil nadu madurai ye sab places mein you know there is a specific caste which is very powerful then you talk about tirunelveli uh you know so which is also and you know very you know there's a very powerful caste out there um and then you talk about uh you know uh, the caste uh, uh and an- another caste you know which um, you know, our ex health minister uh, ramadas you know so his party is you know uh, is is a champion of one particular caste they are also a very uh, dominant caste in one part of tamil nadu uh, but you know uh, when you talk about social justice tamil nadu mein i can tell is openly at least the data will you know support me but tomorrow i might get a lot of hate hate messages or mails but uh, from the dravidian folks but ek ek keh sakta hu ki tamil nadu mein unlike other states uh, in north india brahmins aur dalits ke beech mein wo zyada conflict nahi hai the conflict is mainly between the medium caste the middle caste and you know दलित बट ये प्रॉब्लम है कि आप जब डीएम के पार्टी का डेमोग्राफी देर मेंबरशिप डेमोग्राफी आप देख सकते हैं तो डीएम के में मेजोरिटी ये मिडिल कास्ट ही है ओबीसी एमबीसी बीसी दलित का रिप्रेजेंटेशन इतना ज्यादा नहीं है और आप वो कैबिनेट भी देख सकते हैं कैबिनेट में सोशल जस्टिस का पार्टी है तो वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट भी चाहिए और यू नो दलित एम्पावरमेंट भी चाहिए दो दोनों नहीं है डेमोग्राफी uh, में हम देख सकते हैं कि कैबिनेट में दे डोंट हैव अ लॉट ऑफ वुमेन रिप्रेजेंटेशन दे डोंट हैव अ लॉट ऑफ है कितनी उस पे औरतें हैं और कितने दलित हैं इनके कैबिनेट में डीएमके की आई विल से इट इट विल बी अराउंड वन और टू फॉर बोथ कैटेगरीज डेफिनेटली नॉट मोर सो सो यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दे आर नॉट वॉकिंग द टॉक आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट राइट सो एज एंड आई एम नॉट जस्ट दैट राइट डीएमके केम टू पावर Two and a half years back, and 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 in the last two and a half years, you I mean mm-hmm. you can you can speak to Dalit activists from Tamil Nadu directly. So I'm I'm not representing uh, representing Dalits because I don't want to miss uh, represent myself here. But I track these in in a very uh, uh, you know um, concerted manner, and you can ask them. And there are different issues that are still unsolved in the last two and a half years. You're talking about. for example there there was this issue that happened in a place called wenge while in tamil nadu <clears throat> where a dominant caste people definitely one of these middle caste i don't want to name the caste uh, so they actually uh, put feces into a water tank belonging to uh, you know the dalits they put human feces into that and this case has still not been solved till today and uh, someone like you know uh, udayan nidhi who you know talks about sanatan dharma and stuff right so he never even visited that place uh, you know so that, that that is that is one of the most uh, you know uh, one of the most mentioned crosses that i've heard from dalits from that region so as as someone who is 
you know touted as the next chief minister of tamil nadu he has all the access etc etc it, it doesn't and and why is he not making that trip because it will probably piss off the dominant caste because tamil nadu religion may not play a big role and that is probably why एक सेकंड साइड आप ये कह रहे हैं कि तमिलनाडु में जो क्लैश है वो ज्यादा ब्राह्मण्स और दलित्स के बीच में नहीं है वो जो मिड लेवल पे आ गए ओबीसी उनके और दलित्स के बीच में और जो उद्यानिधि है ये खुद ओबीसी को बिलोंग करते हैं राइट या आई मीन आई डोंट नो हिज कास्ट एग्जैक्टली बट ही इज डेफिनेटली नॉट अ ब्राह्मण Yeah, so so ये 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 ही है hypocrisy. So this is what I'm saying, right? So आज आज तीन प्रतिशत के कम है ब्राह्मण्स का you know percentage in Tamil Nadu, and they are they are not part of any government positions or you know they are not all IAS officers or anything, right? So you're you're talking about a very insignificant number. Uh, but uh, but again, I I in, in no way I'm saying that Brahmins do not indulge in caste discrimination. Hmm. because mm-hmm. i've seen a lot of cases myself but we are talking about the primary conflict in a state like tamil nadu we are talking about the primary conflict between two different groups in terms of their standing in the society and 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 when you talk about the sufferings that you know dalits endure it's it's not at the hands of brahmins in tamil nadu so when, but but again as जैसे मैं कह रहा था कि बीजेपी व्हाई दे आर नॉट एबल टू मेक बिग इन रोड्स इन तमिलनाडु बिकॉज हिंदू मुस्लिम विल नॉट वर्क इन तमिलनाडु हिंदू क्रिश्चियन विल नॉट वर्क इन तमिलनाडु बट कास्ट बेस्ड वोटिंग डेफिनेटली हैपेंस इन तमिलनाडु वो वो बिल्कुल होता है बिकॉज यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सच अ बिग मिनिस्टर लाइक ए राजा हु वाज यू नो अक्यूज्ड ऑफ द 2G स्कैम बट ही केम आउट फाइटिंग ही ही वन एंड ही इज एंड दैट वाज अ वेरी बिग विन Uh, you mm-hmm. know when karnanidhi was there he was not even sure that raja will win but raja was so mm-hmm. confident he said i will argue my own case and he came out winning mm-hmm. and and many people till today they they they, they feel that the 2g was mm-hmm. a, a setting by cag and the scam never happened in tamil nadu and that's why he came back and he again won the elections but a raja belongs to the dalit community and 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 rather than championing him as a face of the party mm-hmm. because you got a big win you know and he can be the face at a national level Mm. the 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 constituency that he was he he won as an mp uh, you know they they didn't give it back to him because there was another constituency in 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 i forgot the name it's a hill station in tamil nadu which was announced as a reserved mm. constituency so they made him stand there my point is when you have a leader and you know you have a mass leader like a raja especially after the big win mm. won't you want to post use him as a poster boy for your party and why are you just segregating him to a reserved constituency you can you can make any other dalit you know leader from that region when you are claiming to champion the dalit cause yeah mm-hmm. and, and and what is the role of eraja uh, aaj ka dmk pe you know it, it's nothing much right i mean he he's, mm-hmm. he's he's not a he's not a big and and let's also talk about kanimoli's role right i mean kanimoli uh, kitni saal se you know she's been a member of the parliament you know she she is good with english she is good she can she can understand hindi she is she is obviously you know educated and stuff but uski part in aaj ka dmk wo mm-hmm. bahut insignificant hai i mean it's 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 she she is basically just you know um, uh, taking care of her mp uh, constituency and iske iske alawa aur kuch nahi hai na so you are talking about both the representation of the women as well as the representation representation of dalits mm-hmm. dmk may not just in mla mp ka uh, you know uh, levels how but you talk about councilor levels there's not a lot of representation so, how about representation of minority communities minority ke liye you do in the cabinet you will have ek ek christian ka minister ek 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 ya do and even recently ek ek muslim minister tha and his portfolio was taken away and you know it was it was given to udyanidhi he became the sports minister iske pehle i think there was another uh, sports minister who was a muslim so mm-hmm. so i say i say ho raha tha right so so appeasement sirf uh, you know in terms of uh, promises made uh, right and of course they may do mm-hmm. some good things for muslims and christians but when we're talking about the wenge well issue i just mentioned are uh, aaj tak they they're saying they're doing dna analysis of the feces but you know feces mm-hmm. ka sample you know badal chuka hai so how do you even expect because you there are, there are different issues so nanganeri is another place where a government school hai usme 
dominant caste uh, uh, students they carried a sickle and i think i think they're in 7th 8th 9th standard i don't i don't remember but they carried a sickle and then they slashed uh, a dalit uh, classmate and as well as his sister mm. uh, this also happened this also happened and and the guys uh, the, the 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 guys belong to the the guys who slashed they belong to the dominant caste and and the affected yeah. parties were the these people are lecturing others on how religion should not be made um, a basis of politics agar religion nahi hona chahiye to fir the hypocrisy comes in the religion part but caste caste ke bare mein they will not talk mm-hmm. you you ask a very simple question but, ki tamil nadu mein last two and a half years mein sirf last two and a half years dekho dmk ka तो अगर आपने हिंदू धर्म में से कास्ट डिस्क्रिमिनेशन निकाल दिया उस पर भी खैर बहुत लोग बोलेंगे की ये वर्णा सिस्टम है कास्ट सिस्टम तो एग्जिस्ट ही नहीं करता सॉरी ऐसा कुछ नहीं है कास्ट सिस्टम आज भी एग्जिस्ट करता है एंड पीपल आर स्टिल गेटिंग परसिक्यूटेड बिकॉज ऑफ इट सो यू नो लेट्स नॉट से कि डजेंट एग्जिस्ट पर अगर आप कास्ट सिस्टम को निकाल देंगे फिर तो हिंदू मजहब से अच्छा कोई मजहब ही नहीं है जितनी आजादी हिंदू मजहब में है और ये वो लोग हैं जो खुद कास्ट सिस्टम को पकड़ के बैठे हैं और फिर हिंदू धर्म को गाली दे रहे हैं अच्छा साई लेट्स कम टू दैट पार्ट वाई इज राहुल गांधी सर राहुल गांधी तमिलनाडु की स्टेट पे से नहीं है ना सो दैट इज द सिंपलेस्ट आंसर दैट आई कैन गिव यू बिकॉज़ बट ये अलायंस पार्टनर्स है ना इनकी बात मैं 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 एक बोल सकता हूं ना एक मिनट मैं एक बोल सकता हूं ना सी डीएमके ने तमिलनाडु में रहने वाले ब्राह्मण्स को अलग से देखते हैं और दूसरी स्टेट्स में रहने वाले ब्राह्मण्स को अलग से देखते हैं बिकॉज़ इवन ये इंडिया अलायंस है ना इंडिया अलायंस व्हाटएवर हम्म इसमें kitni leaders you know they have their names with their surnames and most of them could be even brahmanical surnames you're talking about kejriwal you're talking about pawar uh, you're talking about rahul gandhi who, who himself said he is a genuine janwedari brahmin kaul brahmin whatever and tesin pura punawala is mm-hmm. tweeting that to everyone rahul gandhi is a brahmin he is a brahmin don't talk against sanatna dharma so 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 yeah you have you have uddhav thakre who is you know i mean you you talk about shiv sena you don't remember anything other than hinduism as your first point right so you, you talk about bal thakre and the legacy that they've carried but who sub they are not from tamil nadu there mm-hmm. there was a there was a time when you know dmk was also against the shiv sena because mm-hmm. you know there was a time when you know tamils were attacked in in mumbai you know there were riots etc so mm-hmm. samay pe you know uh, bal thakre was you know the champion of the maratha manors and all of that mm-hmm. so that time you know they obviously uh, hated bal thakre and his uh, policies mm-hmm. but there were times even during karnanidhi's tenure when uh, you know when our vajpayee was there that they were uh, you know uh, in an alliance with uh, bjp and you know that's when all these godra riots also happened and mm-hmm. karnanidhi was not a person that who, who felt offended and left the alliance he he didn't do that back then so <clears throat> yeah people outside the state they don't really bother so so it, when it comes no, to i don't think that logic uh, can apply to rahul gandhi since he's the face of the congress even though he's not the president but you know uh, malika arjun kharge ko president banana itself was such a big statement because uh, kharge has had a history of uh, making irresponsible statements and always offending one side or another i don't think uh, jo aap keh rahe hain wo logic Rahul Gandhi pe apply no. ho sakta hai because he's too big of a face you know you you no, but this this is their logic right so even if it is a brahmin acha agar koi ek bjp ka chhota sa corporator <laughs> jammu kashmir ke kisi border dist- district mein bhi koi statement de dega na is tarah ki the, the congress will ask the prime minister to react on it they'll they'll ask the prime minister aap kya kehte hain iske bare mein but yahan so, par cabinet minister hai na jo priyank kharge ji hain ye cabinet minister hai karnataka mein abhi उनकी स्टेटमेंट पर राहुल गांधी जी की कोई प्रतिक्रिया ही नहीं है नहीं आई मीन सो कांग्रेस ये भी कहते हैं ना लाइक व्हेन इट इज व्हेन इट इज ऑफ कन्वीनियंस फॉर देम वे कहते हैं कि ये उसका और उनका पर्सनल ओपिनियन है ये ये कांग्रेस का ओपिनियन नहीं है नो सो दे दे से दैट सो 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 इट डजंट मैटर व्हाट प्रियंका गांधी सेज और इवन 
Udayani ji says because they they easily say that ye hamara alliance ki uh, you know stand nahi hai ye unka personal opinion is and and they they'll say that india may free, freedom of expression hai it's there in the constitution so udayani yeah, ji is just expressing its freedom of, of expression so all the yeah. freedom of expression only applies to uh, uh, you know everybody except for uh, the hindu i think so oh, but this time i was i was pleasant uh, i mean i i was like really surprised uh, because i and i think it is only because we are close to hmm. six months you know to you know having the next general elections and <clears throat> dmk or you know they are they are part of this uh, india alliance and uh, that is only that's the only reason why you are seeing people like uh, mamta banerjee or kejriwal or hmm. priyanka uh, you know uh, i forgot her surname yeah she's from shiv sena right so i so said they've all reacted or, the yeah chat yeah. congress uh, leader hmm. yeah she she's part of shiv sena so they've all reacted uh, saying that what udayani ji said was wrong and of course hmm. we've seen tweets of this so in the alliance ka hissa hai na they don't want uh, you know the hindus to be holding uh, udayani ji's statement against them acha साई एक चीज और बताएं डू यू थिंक उदया निधि से गलती हुई है एंड इवन हिज फादर यू नो वुड फाइंड दिस टू मच टू बी अप्रिशिएटेड हालांकि मेरी कोई एमके स्टालिन से ज्यादा कोई उम्मीद नहीं है बट ऐसा नहीं है कि आप तमिलनाडु में एग्जिस्ट नहीं कर सकते या फिर फ्लरिश नहीं कर सकते अगर आप हिंदू धर्म को गाली ना दें अम्मा ने वो यूज डू इट या सो ये भी मैं मैं कहना चाहता हूँ कि when they talk about tamil nadu right especially mm-hmm. uh, the dmk people so they they give a picture as if uh, you know tamil nadu's history is incomplete without dmk uh, mm-hmm. i say nahi ki uh, tamil nadu ke sare development sirf dm se mm-hmm. uh, dmk se ho ho chuka hai but but you know if you talk about the tenure of the parties that have ruled tamil nadu dmk se zyada admk has ruled tamil nadu so you're talking about an optimum mix of both the uh, dravidian parties and jalalta was was a different person because she was openly religious she was openly religious and uh, she was also a brahmin uh, but 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 you know no one saw her as a brahmin chief minister alone it, this includes the mm-hmm. dalits this includes the obcs and everyone because she never really believed in uh, caste discrimination because and she was also so uh, there was this recent movie that released in uh, tamil it's called mamman and 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 it was the udayanidhi was incidentally the hero of the film and he plays a dalit in that and you know his father is is a, is a reserved constituency mla and you know he finally becomes a speaker um, but when in the, the movie is talking about how dalits you know face a lot of challenges in their political you know a journey and their rising right so this movie was loosely based on a real life incident that happened uh, in the tenure of j j lalita so she had a <clears throat> a, a dalit mla you know so there was there was a function in his in his town and so he had invited many other uh, admk mlas you know to visit his house and you know have have lunch or something um, unfortunately uh, none of them went to his house because he was a dalit Hmm. so he he took this to jail ta you know wo kaha ki main maine maine sa sari mlas ko invite kiya aur you know no one came to eat in my house because main main ek dalit hu so next uh, step that jail ta took was you know to make him a minister uh, you know uh, of some of of a portfolio that is related to food and supplies so you know there there is this popular saying jail ta ne kaha ki ab main dekhunga ki you know kaun आपको यू नो अकाउंट यू नो तेरे घर को नहीं आया फ्रेंड का नो सो समथिंग लाइक दैट सो अम्मा फॉर अ रीजन इट्स फॉर अ रीजन कि लोग इतना रो रहे थे जब जयललिता की डेथ हुई है एंड देयर वाज लाइक ग्रीफ ऑल ओवर द कंट्री इट वाज नॉट लिमिटेड टू तमिलनाडु आई वुड से इट वाज नॉट लिमिटेड टू द सदर्न फोर स्टेट्स आल्सो देयर वाज लॉट ऑफ ग्रीफ इन द नॉर्थ आल्सो पीपल वर टॉकिंग अबाउट अम्मा जल जल तो वाज अ वेरी स्मार्ट a uh, politician of course she had a lot of weaknesses in terms of her mm-hmm. sternness and stuff but that's because of the journey that she has had and and you know when personally the, she wasn't too lucky i would say she yeah she, yeah uh, personal issues are said and i think i think even when even when a party talks about the women empowerment and 
and you know there there is this very famous incident that happened to jailita assembly mein you know her her she was disrobed and her, her hair was pulled etc and it, this was you know it was done by some dmk members and you also tell the guys uh, laughed uh yes uh, they, i i have not seen any videos but there there are some sayings that yes you know this there was, are many articles uh, uh, that report yes, that yes yes yeah there, there's no uh, visual evidence that we had but yes there are articles that have been written so yeah so jalalda was never considered as a brahmin cm ever uh, because uh, people and people didn't even see it as a uh, as as an aspect of her ruling because it was always about you know what she considered was right and she was never Uh, someone who you know uh, uh, only elected or you know uh, chose people based on their caste it was about whether someone can get a job done or not uh, but i won't say that admk also had great uh, mm-hmm. uh, demographical mix in terms of their cabinet or you know whether you know they had more dalit ministers or something but uh, but yeah I, i don't think both of the see, see basically tamil nadu me caste is what decides uh mm-hmm. election chunav you know it you beat candidates ka chunav beat you know where they have to stand um mm-hmm. you know so caste ke bina kuch nahi hota hai election pe uh mm-hmm. so that is why you know you you are talking about issues concerning the dalits they are not political majority they are not you know majority in terms of population so isliye even What? parties like dmk they have to cater to this you know obcs mbcs etc because they themselves are from that caste so so sure. obviously you know yeah mm-hmm. okay your dog is also getting impatient this is my last question to you ye uh, isko address kar de and then we'll uh, conclude this session uh, do you think iska koi g20 ke sath bhi kuch ye time kiya gaya hai ye jo puri kahani hai and this is also to provoke the bjp or uh, क्या आपको लगता है कोई लीगल एक्शन हो सकता है अगेंस्ट उद्यानिधि क्योंकि बहुत लोग जो है वो कह रहे हैं हमने केसेस फाइल किए हैं बट आई एम श्योर तमिलनाडु पुलिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू टच चीफ मिनिस्टर सन अभी तक भी कुछ नहीं हुआ है बट जो बात है देयर आर टॉक्स दैट देयर आर देयर आर सम 12 रिटायर्ड जजेस हु आर पार्ट ऑफ अ 269 मेंबर पैनल हु हैव रिटन टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट यू नो जज Uh, just to change the truth right so but i am not sure whether there will be any swarm or cognizance taken or any action we are not really sure but i definitely there will be nothing happening within the ambit of tamil nadu in terms of arrest or something uh, but yeah one, one thing that i also wanted to mention is you know tamil nadu's uh, sabse bada dalit leader is tol tirumavalavan um, you know i'm sure you would have heard so he 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 is someone who champions the voices of that it's in in the state and he's also someone who's like well educated and uh uska uska you know uska kafi advantages hai as, as a leader but unfortunately the same dalit uh, under representation that i'm talking about um, when it comes to elections and tirumavalavan is in alliance with dmk uh, mm. you know so he's part of this in india alliance um, mm. per during the elections you will not see him getting more than 5 Uh, okay you're talking about yeah uh, tamil nadu has around 39 uh, you know mp seats so you will not see him getting more than f- four or five seats and five seats itself is uh, really too much you know in considering how they handle you know the the uh, seat segregation but but you know this this is the travesty of social justice in tamil nadu ki ek sabse bada dalit leader hai uh, tamil nadu ke state pe par uska itna zyada importance nahi de rahe hain beat hmm. uh, seat allocation may or you know beat in terms of um, you know um, spreading his awareness as 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 i'm talking specifically about dmk us, hmm. usko obviously he has his own party called you know vck but hmm. but as an as a coalition partner uska hmm. itna zyada importance definitely they don't give that is one hmm. of the biggest travesties you ask any dalit uh, you know uh, a champion in tamil nadu and they will mention the word of you know tirumaval one so this is also one of the biggest hypocrisies that i see in the state hmm. in terms of the g20 i mean i don't think this was a planned thing uh, you know hmm. i i don't think they would have even focused on g20 because they they don't really care their 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 focus is specifically on you know 24 elections in terms of hmm. what happened so this was i think i i, I may pehle hi keh chuka hu like ic events 
keep mm-hmm. happening in tamil nadu and they've happened for decades together mm-hmm. but difference though differences have to you know what has happened in the past and what is happening now a mm-hmm. leader like karnanidhi was shrewd enough when mm-hmm. to draw the line mm-hmm. if if this would have happened when karnanidhi was alive mm-hmm. he would know how to house the fire mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. wo experience next generation leaders ke paas mm-hmm. nahi hai mm-hmm. and one more reason why this has you know got such a such a large national coverage is because of this india alliance because mm-hmm. jaise main keh chuka hu unlike tamil nadu north india mm-hmm. mein religion is also a very big aspect just like mm-hmm. caste and other equations there is my mm-hmm. point of view that religion also plays a major role mm-hmm. and also the fact that you have a lot of brahmin leaders in higher positions in the political mm-hmm. parties in in north india that that is not there in tamil nadu so 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 they they so act as साइड नहीं रिलीजन का फैक्टर तो देखिए तमिलनाडु में भी चल रहा है इट्स जस्ट दैट वहां पर हिंदू रिलीजन को गाली दी जा रही है नहीं नहीं आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट वोटिंग पैटर्न्स तमिलनाडु में रिलीजन इज नॉट अ फैक्टर इन वोटिंग पैटर्न्स कास्ट इज रिलीजन नहीं है तमिलनाडु में रिलीजन बिल्कुल इज नॉट अ फैक्टर व्हेन इट कम्स टू दैट्स व्हाई आई एम सेइंग पॉलिटिक्स टू है जो हमारे लीडर्स कर रहे हैं व्हाट इज दिस व्हाट उदयनिधि सेड व्हाट उदयनिधि सेड ye wo religious politics hi to kar raha hai it's just that uh, the people he no, this wants is, to this is appeasement politics this is religious politics nahi ye appeasement politics hai so when when you see who is he trying to please when you say the bjp does ek second when you when you say the bjp does religious politics mm-hmm. what we are basically saying is that the bjp is trying to appease the hindus yeah yeah what udyanidhi is doing is the exact opposite of the bjp he is actually going a step further when the bjp tries to appease the hindus it doesn't say that islam and christianity are disease right no, but this but, guy but is there are some there, there are some bjp leaders who have crossed the line when it comes to muslims right so at least i haven't come across a leader who not, says not not not, not a like not, not a like for like description not, not a like for like Uh, they go uh, overboard saying ye invaders are religious so, and all so, that but so they say bjp when they try to appease hindu mm-hmm. voters so here he is mm-hmm. doing the opposite he is trying to appease the minority and like i told you the dravidian movement itself is about mm-hmm. only targeting ills of the uh, hindu religion whether they are right or not uh, is is a different topic altogether but they have always made this as their plank in terms of targeting hindu alone because मैंने बोल चुका हूँ कि क्रिस्टियनिटी में ये उनको ये भी याद रहना चाहिए कि वो ये कर पा रहे हैं क्योंकि अभी भी तमिलनाडु में मेजोरिटी में हिंदूज है हाँ, करके बताए अगर तमिलनाडु में मुसलमान people in dmk are also hindus this was during another controversy when uh, you know opposition ne pucha tha ki kyun aap aise kar rahe hain so usne bola ki dmk mein majority religion is hindu only so that 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 they are sure but you know the reason that they keep doing this see a ek aur maine bol gaya tha hmm. you know bolne ke liye ki i i don't even know ki udenedi aur uska kotri ka you know do they even understand the word of sanatan dharma because because hinduism is a religion where you know you don't have you know form like description of every single thing because many things are so for example ramayana has different versions right valmiki and you know kakamba ramayana and you know you have because it is it is based on the perception and you know you can you can explain it in different ways so mujhe ये भी नहीं पता है कि वेदर उदयनिधि वांटेड टू से हिंदुत्व और सनातन धर्म वो भी मुझे नहीं पता है कि क्या उसको ये सनातन धर्म का अर्थ यू नो डज डज ही इवन अंडरस्टैंड कब से कब से हिंदू धर्म को अटैक कर रहे हैं ये हिंदुत्व जो नया वर्ड इजाद किया गया है कि जी हमारे पास इस्लामिज्म का जवाब जो है वो आप कहें कि अगर उनके पास रेडिकल इस्लाम है तो हमारे पास हिंदुत्व है दिस इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस इज अ a uh, liberal construct or rather illiberal construct to basically offer apology for uh, radical islamist terrorism i don't agree with the definition of hindutva that the left 
says it is. I don't agree. No, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This is the code of politically aware Hindu. Kisi ko kya problem hai? Agar Hindu jo hai, wo politics me participate kar raha hai, khul ke. You know, why does anybody have a problem? Why should anybody have a problem with that? No, but that's what we're talking about. DMK ka base ideology hai ki you know to attack the evils of. Hinduism, like, like I said, whether their assumption is right or wrong is a different issue. But okay. yes, most of the caste-based discrimination does occur in Hinduism because they are the majority. So it's a very natural thing. Eighty percent of a country is, you know, consists of Hindus. Eighty hmm. percent of the problems you will see only in Hindus. You you will have ten percent in Christians and ten percent in Islam or whatever the percentage is. Hmm. But that that is how it also gets reported in the media so you don't like i said you don't see a lot of dalit christians being you know discriminated coming out in the ma- mainstream media but you do see a lot of hindu mm-hmm. dalits you know getting discriminated by other hindu religions in the mainstream media so and, 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 जब आप कन्वर्ट कर लिया आपने और आपको फिर भी वही फेस करना पड़ रहा है सो इट्स आल्सो एम्बेरसिंग फॉर यू टू कम आउट एंड टॉक अबाउट इट नो दैट्स आल्सो दैट 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 दैट्स अ वैलिड पॉइंट एज़ वेल सो दैट इज आल्सो देयर बट यस आई हैव uh you know peop- i i have had people telling me that you know Chris- dalit christians maybe you know they they face a lot of you know discrimination etc uh mm-hmm. but but yeah it it is it is under reported because even their their size and their sample size is like way lower compared to you know hinduism but yeah mm-hmm. okay that's- thank you so much uh, sai for your time today and uh, that's all viewers uh, from our side for today we will keep coming up with uh, more episodes like this where you actually get to know kya ho raha hai kisi bhi issue par rather than just following what the mainstream media tells you because on the mainstream media everything is so sensationalized that the truth becomes the first casualty so yeah if you like this episode do consider subscribing to my channel and sharing and liking this video that's all for today bye